Hi guys, Adamya here from Digit. We are at the Smart City Expo that's happening right here in Pragati Medan in Delhi. And what I have with me is a water ATM. Uh, we have some really cool and innovative products out of uh, this expo. And this one is the one that caught our eye first. Uh, this is a water ATM by Akshay Jal. And I have with me Mr. Akshay himself, uh, whose brainchild this water ATM is. Akshay, please tell us what the water ATM does and what exactly uh, is. Uh, hi Adanya, uh, the water ATM is basically a unit which is a pure uh, compact unit that produces uh, 500 liters per hour of water, pure water every, every hour. Uh, it uh, dispenses partly the water to common man uh, at a very reasonable price and it uh, takes out all the contamination and the impurities of water that we currently see that we have. So how many steps of filtration uh, does this have? It has 13 steps of filtration, starting from uh, basic uh, pre-filtration to water softening uh, to RO. Uh, and from RO it goes to post-mineralization, it remineralizes and ozonizing the water. Uh, the unit also produces chilled water, so it has a chiller built into this. And it has a smart card solution to this. Uh, let me just show you how it works. The electronics of this machine um, are able to remotely control this water, this unit, um, and also to... Is that a GPS? There is a GPS unit installed in this. Uh, you can actually remotely control the unit. You can also get information on what impact data is there. You can also um, uh, remotely understand how much usage has been done and uh, all the parameters of water quality. The, the unit is made in such a way that it, it will stop automatically if the water quality goes down. It has a built in uh, online pH and a TDS meter uh, and it dispenses water in these uh, outlets for one liter or one glass to 20 liters, uh, uh, whatever the customer wants. Okay, so uh, what? There is a spot card okay. here and then coin slots. So, what is the price of water with this machine? How much do I have to pay to get, say, a one liter of water? Normally, you would, uh, in, in a typical situation, you would uh, probably pay about one rupee for a one liter cold water and uh, about 25 paise for a, for a 20 liter uh, normal water. Okay. Right. About five rupees, uh, five rupees for 20, 20 liters. The solution seems great to me. Where all have you implemented this already? What kind of success rate are you seeing? What kind of numbers are you seeing in terms of people adopting such systems? Well, uh, we have already installed about 84 units in India. Uh, they are in uh, Udaipur, J Jaipur, Ajmer, um, Telangana, uh, in Faridabad, Bhopal, all these places. Uh, there is a lot of excitement about the unit, but uh, there is a lot of also bureaucracy involved in you know putting these units. That's exactly what I was coming to. Uh, you were talking about you know uh, you installing uh, the unit in so many sites, but are you in talks with the government? Is the government giving you is uh, is the government showing openness and adopting such systems because these are crucial and essential for smart cities in the future, right? Absolutely, you are absolutely right. See, what happens is we've, we've tried to work with the governments. Uh, the government has a long drawn process of putting uh, such units. So we came up with the idea of getting into a PPP mode under which we take care of the capex and we just require the space where this water can be put and obviously an, uh, a raw water uh, inlet uh, arrangement. Uh, otherwise, what is the cost of uh, putting up a machine if the government were to pay you for say Two, two lakh machines or something. What is the cost of one machine? See, normally a machine costs about four and a half lakh rupees. So we are ready to put up, let's say, a thousand machines immediately, uh, as long as we are able to get that kind of support and permissions from the government. Uh, it has been an uphill task. Government takes a long time, even to give permissions, even when their money is not involved by the government. Even then, it has been a very uphill task. We're talking to a lot of municipalities, a lot of smart cities, uh, and. We are getting success, but at a very uh, What about the maintenance of uh, the unit? Uh, what does it require? How many changes of the filters does it require? How often do you need to change the filters? Well, normally this machine is a completely auto-run machine. 
remotely I can actually uh, do flushing for the filters. I can do a lot of stuff with this. That's uh, through the GPS unit that's installed? Through the GPS unit, yes. Uh, but uh, it, uh, what we do is in our CAPEX model we already built in a uh, maintenance uh, module uh, by which our engineer is visiting the machine once every week and doing the extra cleaning that is required or any changes of filters that are required. Since this, is, this requires uh, to be iron exchanged and water softening, uh, so we need to ch recharge the salt and recharge the ions. That has to be done once a week. Our engineers go there and do that. Uh, so you just spoke about uh, uh, me using a card to dispense water, right? That's the card. Uh, all you have to do is press it here. It uh, deducts the amount uh, from the prepaid uh, value and you can select either normal water or cold water. Whatever value you do not use, the, it is returned back to the card. So where are you distributing these cards from as of now? Because you said that you know uh, these systems are only in a few places right now and the government is only probably giving you space to put up your machines. Uh, where are the cards distributed from? How, how does the ecosystem work? See, how, what we've done is we've tied up with Nisbud, which is an entrepreneur development agency of, of the government of India. Uh, we provide entrepreneurial development skills to local people. And once we've installed the machines, we train them on how to operate, how to sell the water, how to ensure that these cards reach the common people. And these, these cards are then given to them and they distribute to the local communities. Great. Can we have a quick demo of, of it dispensing some water? None of the machines? Oh, there's no water connection there. Okay, great. Uh, we unfortunately cannot get a demo of the water ATM, but it seems like a very noble solution uh, for smart cities of the future. Thank you, Akshay, for speaking with pleasure. us. My pleasure altogether. Thank you very much.